guys, I'm Nicole, a full-time clay artist who loves creating cute things, and welcome to my channel, Koi. In today's vlog, I'll be working on some product photo shoots, tackling freelance projects, and prepping for my upcoming pop-up event. It's my first pop-up this year, and it's also the first time I'll be taking part in an anime exhibition, so it's a brand new experience for me. I'm going to have a fun unboxing moment with you all too because I just bought a new drawing pad to make my work easier. Before we get going, if you are into art and like watching art content here, I'll be super happy if you could hit the subscribe button for more art updates from me. I've been shifting more towards crafting figurines and anime fan art lately. Surprisingly, many of my friends don't know that I'm a big fan of anime. But I always say that never judge a book by its cover. People can be so much more than they appear to be at first glance. One of the reasons for this shift is that I found my clay jewelry to be a bit pricey for many people here. As I mentioned in my previous video, art is not always valued as much in my country, and selling items at $10 can be considered quite expensive. There are, of course, many of you who have been incredibly supportive of my work, and I am truly grateful for that, or else I wouldn't have been this far. However, I found it challenging to have repeat customers for my jewelry each month due to the pricing. So, I'm contemplating delving into digital goods or tapping into the larger market of anime to see if I can gain more traction there. I've been working on some anime fan art and I've recently launched the Studio Ghibli Desk Friends collection. If you're interested in watching me create them, you can click the link in the upper right to see more. I've only finished the Studio Ghibli pieces so far, and I'm still working on the others. I don't think I'll be able to release them until after my pop-up. So, I'm considering debuting them during the pop-up as new stuff. And the main highlight will be artisan keycaps. I've also got some keychains, phone charms, and other desk buddies in the works. I'm just not so sure if I'll able to prepare everything in time though. My schedule is really jam-packed this month because I need to stock up for the pop-up and handle a freelance project at the same time. The freelance gig involves creating design proposals, meeting with clients, and dealing with suppliers among other things. It's pretty intense, so I'm crafting every day for long hours and it's giving me a serious headache. This time is my first time joining an anime exhibition and I really want to stand out. I always try to make small upgrades every time I set up, but this time it's not just a regular pop-up. It's going to be in an exhibition hall it's one of the biggest anime fests of the year and the estimated crowd will be probably 50,000 visitors, I'm not really sure. So it's kind of a big deal. I don't have a booth, but just a table and three chairs to work with. I'm thinking of customizing a tablecloth with my Wheelshot logo with a galaxy vibe and a standalone pack board and some theme matching props. Speaking of props, I've been using the wooden ones and now I want to add some white items and bohemian artificial plants, but will this go with my galaxy tablecloth? Oh boy, I'll figure it out. I wish I could show you what I have in mind, but everything's still on the way. I'll share it all out in my next video, so make sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications for updates.
I usually use my iPad for drawing and planning. I was planning to buy a new one, but my budget is tight because my previous iPad was damaged in a hilarious way. It got drenched in seawater during a trip and certified dead at the scene. <laughs> so I need to work hard to afford a new one. I decided to purchase a drawing tablet because using a mouse for long hours actually hurts my hand, especially when I'm doing detailed editing work like masking. My friend, who is a video editor, never uses a mouse and recommended a drawing tablet for me. This will not only make editing easier but will also allow me to get back into drawing, something I've been wanting to do for my digital works projects. The timing of buying this drawing tablet is just so right as I need it for the freelance job that I accepted. It requires drawing and design work as my friend asked me to be involved in festive decorations for a restaurant event. Just a little insight, before becoming an artist, I've been working in the event field and doing festive decorations for shopping malls. I quit quite a while and I didn't really want to jump back into that field but because this time is my friend's client and I was thinking that taking on freelance work will help me keep afloat and provide additional funding for my small art business. So why not? If I'm able to do it, just do it. And I do enjoy doing that too. I don't do ready stocks for my pop-up events because I usually promote my art as unique, one-of-a-kind pieces, which means there will be no repeating items in the collections. But I think people will expect on-the-spot purchases at the upcoming Anime Fest, so I'm making an extra effort to create new pieces. I'll do my best. This time, I'm approaching the event with an open heart. Aiming to promote myself as an artist who is opening to commissions rather than just focusing on sales. Well, just try to chill out and meet new people this time. I guess I will be taking a break from social media again because I have to focus in crafting. I wouldn't say it's really a break, probably just slow updates yeah just want to let you all know that i'm working really hard on crafting some awesome stuff for the upcoming pop-up it's taking me a bit longer than expected but i'm super excited about it if you would like to walk along with me what i craft for the pop-up and how i prep for the pop-up there will be some exciting vlogs about it so don't forget to subscribe for more updates and i'll see you in my next videos thanks for watching